What's going on everybody? Derek here from DerekBennett.com. If this is your first time watching any of these videos, welcome to the site. Or you could be watching this on YouTube or Facebook or I think, yeah, Facebook too. Uh, if you're watching it there, go head over to the site real quick, submit your email address, and you'll get notified of all the future lessons just like this one. All right. If you're returning, welcome back. You know what we do here. Grab your base. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back. As you can see in the title, we're talking about intervals or diatonic intervals. Uh, for the purpose of this lesson, I'll just be talking about the diatonic intervals. Um, something very simple and basic you should learn um, pretty early on in your playing. If you haven't learned, keep watching. If you have learned, keep watching. <laughs> all right, so I'll just go over a few, or I'll go over all of them with you, all the diatonic intervals today. Um, and I'll stick in the in the key of C, so I'll stick in C major. Um, all that means, the diatonic, if you're not really sure what that means, it's just basically staying within the scale. All right, so if I were to play a F sharp um, and I'm in the key of C, it wouldn't be inside, it wouldn't be diatonic, it wouldn't be considered diatonic, it would be outside of the scale. All right, so that's all that means, but I won't be going outside of that key today. I'll just stay within uh, the major scale. <clears throat> all right, and this, the intervals are basically just the space between the notes. So say for instance, we have, we start on C, the space between the first and the second note. Well, first of all, here's the C major scale. All right. Starting with the first, uh, the second finger, excuse me, starting with the second finger. Those are the notes we're dealing with C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All right, very simple. Okay, so the second note of that scale, all right, it's either a whole step away or two half steps away. Okay, whole step or two half steps. Okay, so that interval is a major second. Okay, we're, we're, in a, we're playing the major scale, so the major second interval from C to D is a major second interval. Now the next interval is going to be the third note, obviously. So the next note we have C, D, and then E. So that's our between the distance between the first note and the third note. Okay, so we're gonna stick with C. We're gonna keep going back to that root note. Okay, so the C to the E, all right, that's a major third. So we have, okay, so we have a major third inside of that, or that's either two whole steps, or four half steps okay so that's another way you can think of it all right so just the spacing between the notes and we'll call that a major third okay next one all right yeah obviously you're going you're going right to the next note we're we're, we're we're bringing this right in a row to the fourth note okay so we have the root note so the distance between the root note and the fourth note is, I mean, it get, kind of gives it away right there itself so when it says fourth note. When I say fourth note, it's actually a perfect fourth, okay? And we'll get into that why it's called a perfect fourth in a, in a minute, okay? It's just the distance between the notes, okay? And this works, it's very similar uh, to the the number system. If you know the number system well, um, dealing with the scale, it's, it's almost just like that. It's very, it's very much related because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. All right, so same thing. So this is the second, major second. The interval is the major second. The interval is a major third. The interval is a perfect fourth. Now let's go to the next one. All right, it's gonna be the fifth note. The fifth note, which is G, okay? So we, all right, so we're going to the fifth note. So we go back to that root note. We got root with C. So from C to G, it's a perfect fifth. These intervals are also very good to learn how to pitch them, how to sing them, uh, and to be able to, to pick them out when you're singing a root note or when you're trying to find an interval starting on the root note. So say if I'm singing C, then I have to find a third. Da, C, E. All right, so to be able to find that interval between those notes, these, this exercise is, is very good for singers, actually. Um, <laughs> but we should learn how to play them and be able to sing them just a little bit. I mean, you don't have to be, you know, the best singer in the world. <laughs> you should be able to hold a little, a little tune, I, I would say, to all musicians. Most musicians usually know how to 
saying you'll be surprised at how many musicians actually have great vocal ability. Um, and that just is it's, it's related to everything. I mean, we have to think musically. So these tones and these chords and these scales are in our head all the time. So it comes a little bit easier for us. But to be able to know the distance between that, um, I use, uh, there was a trick I think I learned when I was elementary school, I think. <laughs> there was uh, one little trick that I learned for learning some of the, uh, some of these intervals. And uh, one of them was starting on the root note. So if I wanted to find like, say the fourth, say I wanted to find the perfect fourth, um, I would sing the melody, Here Comes the Bride. Here comes the bride. Right? <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, so that's that interval. The fourth is da, da, the first two notes of that song. So I mean, you can think about it in in a way to, in a way that you can uh, relate to it as well. I mean, it doesn't have to be that song, but it can be a melody or a tune that has that interval. It doesn't have to be that particular tune, uh, but it's just it's memorable for everybody, and uh, most people know that tune. Here comes a bride. Da, 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 da. Yeah, right. you get you get the idea. All right, so most people know that tune, so it has to be something relatable that is relatable to you. Um, you can find one for the fourth, or for the fifth, or for the sixth, or or what have you for for any interval that that you that you uh, that you come across. Okay, so let's keep going with this. All right, let's keep let's keep going. I think I stopped and left off on the fifth. All right, so all right, so from C to G, that's a perfect fifth. C to G, all right? And another one, uh, I was referring back to the songs, another one for the fifth is I think one of the, uh, what was it, uh, the Star Wars theme? So it's a very memorable theme or, or, or a tune or melody. So I would think Star Wars, the first two notes in that theme. Da, da. All right, so C, G, da, da. All right. So to be able to find that interval, and it's, like I said, it's very, uh, it's very important for us to be able to to hear that. I mean, we don't have to technically sing it. I mean, although it helps to sing it, but we should be able to hear that interval um, pretty easily. And those little things kind of help finding the melodies and finding those tunes um, to match those intervals definitely help. <clears throat> If you don't need them, you don't need them. If you're that good, you're that good. It's great. <laughs> I love it. All right. <laughs> if you don't need them, that's great. But if you do, go ahead. They're there. It's another tool that I like to use just to relate music um, to these intervals. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So we have, we did the one, we did the two, we did the major third, we did the perfect fourth, we did the, the perfect fifth. Now we're on the sixth. So we got from C to A is a major six okay so c to a the space between from from c to a is a major six all right simple enough okay uh, i'm not sure what the tune was for the major six uh, da, da. Uh, oh, there it is. It's the, um, I'm, I mean, I don't know if you know, uh, you guys know, but I used to hear that it was either a doorbell or it was the theme or the melody from NBC. Da, da, da. So those first two notes, I know it's very corny, but those first two notes of that melody. Da, da, da. All right, that, those first two notes, it's a major six. All right, that interval is a major six. So you have the root, da, da. All right, so if you ever wanted to use that, go ahead, I'm giving you my permission. All right, <laughs> you can use that one. I mean, it's fairly simple, it's very, it's very short. Um, it's three notes, da, da, da. Um, sometimes, I think, is it, is it doorbells that make that? Da, da, da. Yeah, some doorbells that do that melody as well. All right, so next one. <laughs> I know I'm rambling, but let's next one. We go from C, the root note, to the seventh note, okay? So from the C to the B is a seventh, okay? A major seventh, sorry. So we have from C to B. I'm not sure what the tune was for that one. Da, 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 da. I'm not sure, I can't remember. <laughs> da, da. But all we know is just a half step away from the root note, okay? Da, da. And what is the root note? Da. All right, that's the octave. 
It's just a half step, but just a hair away from that root note. So all you had to do was move up a half step to catch that, um, the next one. So that's how would you would, I mean, if you don't have a song or you don't have a melody for that, that's how you kind of um, defer that between the other intervals. So we got dun, dun. And last but not least, we have the octave from C to C. All right, from C, low C to high C. All right, and if you have trouble pitching that octave, I know some people have trouble picking that. Dun, 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 dun. If you have trouble picking that, just think of the song. Well, I'm not sure, you know, if it relates to you. Um, like I said earlier, you can pick the song that it relates to you, um, to you with. But um, I think of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, those two first notes of Somewhere. Somewhere. All right, those first two notes, dun, dun, that is an octave. Okay, it's the same. It's the same note, but it's a lower note than a higher note. Now that's how you can think of it. Okay, we've got dun, dun. Okay, that's all the diatonic intervals. Okay, so later on I'll be discussing all the intervals that are not inside of that. All right, how to how to pick those out and some melodies that I've and some tunes that I've. Uh, uh, related to to go towards those um, intervals that are outside of the diatonic scale. Okay, so we have all of them. Now to put that as an exercise, I like to use that root note and go back and forth from each interval. All right, it work. It, I mean, it's just a good exercise to be able to get that that root note in your head to know where you're coming from. All right, that interval is based with that root note along with the uh, the next note or whatever space away or however far away you wanna go. All right guys, question of the day. What melodies, what tunes, what songs can you guys think of or you guys come up with um, to help you remember these intervals a little bit better? I know I said I missed a few just because I couldn't find the right one to match it up with, uh, but maybe you do. Maybe you've written a song or maybe it could be a, a cartoon theme or a video game melody or a tune or something like that or a riff um, that's relatable to you. Let me know. It'll be great to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments section. Uh, we can all learn from each other, okay? Until next time, see ya. Thank you.